Um, and I love the idea that maybe one day they'll put all-wheel drive in one of these things because I'd love to drive it year-round, have that power harness be, you know, there and just, uh, that sucked, let me start over. Hi, I'm Tom, originally from Washington State, moved here in 2010, said I'd never move here, but here I am. I'm glad that I'm here though, Saskatoon Motor Products as a sales manager. So what I do when I'm not at the dealership uh, really revolves typically around my kids. I've got four kids that I know of. No, that's a joke. Um, but they're all talented with something, so I'm always chasing them around, sporting events, music, concerts, things like that. That's pretty much what keeps my time busy. So I got into the car industry about five years ago. Uh, truthfully, the car industry's probably been in me since I was a kid. My grandpa owned a dealership way back when. And, uh, but I, when I moved to Canada, I got into construction first because that was sort of my background. And then I realized these fun winters out here wreak havoc on your hands and your body and it's just too darn cold to be out there. And I thought, you know what? I love cars. I love people. Maybe it's time to kind of marry those things together and do something with it. So that's when I took a shot and saw or got involved in the industry. I love working here at SMP because it uses the gifts that I think I have to relate and interact with people, but it challenges me every day and gives me opportunity for growth and puts me in uncomfortable situations sometimes that it's good to be in because that stretches me and hopefully that makes me a better person too. So the first vehicle that I ever bought, I actually bought before I was even able to drive. I think it was 15, 15 and a half maybe. And I was working for a guy, a gentleman, uh, around his place and he had a 67 Mustang. And it was ugly, but it was a Mustang. And at that point in my life, that was one of the cars to have different colored seats torn up and everything, but I got that car and my brother drove us back and forth to school before I got the chance to. And the first real excitement that I had in that car was uh, we had a, a hill going to our house, a big one called Devil's Dip. I was driving down Devil's Dip because I'd replaced the seats in the car and I had a, a very uh, high, high tech radio system, uh, which was a boom box on the floor and the tape track at that point got tied up in the system. So I was reaching over to fix it. I looked up and I was driving off the road into the ditch at the bottom of this hole at Devil's Dip. And uh, thankfully everything was good. I survived, as you can see. And, uh, but what an experience that was for me. I have a number of really fun memories here at SMP, but I'll pick the most recent because, you know, that's fresh in my mind. Uh, and recently, you know, over the last four months or so, was when I was promoted to sales manager and so I'm learning my job, right? And I made a mistake on some numbers for a customer who bought the vehicle, went home very happy with the vehicle and then realized there were some things out of place with the paperwork and came back in and we sat down, went over it, I recognized, acknowledged my mistake and cut a check back for that and he was so appreciative uh, of that and it really moved him and it moved me because my goal is to do things right and if I make a mistake because I'm human right we all make mistakes to make it right and that, that was probably the most recent powerful uh, impact that that I had here or experience anyways if I was to have a dream car right now it would probably be the ZL1 whether a Camaro or a Corvette because I just love power and uh, Granted, there's some responsibility that comes along with that power and I have invested somewhat in the RCMP over the last year because of that love for power. Uh, but that would still be it, I think. Just the fun of a sports car that just takes you down the road at, at zero to 100 and, and nothing flat kilometers, right? Kilometers per hour. That'd be it, I think. Well, that's a little bit about me, but really I'm a little bit more interested in you. So if you want to pop in, we can have a coffee together. Uh, I'd love to do that and get to know you better. Look forward to seeing you down here.